People, people, I just gotta keep it real. After reading My Hero Academia's latest chapter, 343, easily it feels like to me that the author, Kohei Horikoshi, is definitely changing the way he's navigating through to the end because, my gosh, was it just me? And maybe it was just me, I don't know. But I just felt thrusted toward a conclusion, pause, toward the end of this chapter. I was just like, wait, Wait a minute, what? what, what, what do, uh, th th this is happening now? H how? Because My Hero Academia, it, it, it totes a fine line, right? When it's doing setup arcs and, and things getting ready for the big enchilada, whatever it may be, whether it's going to be a giant arc of a villain or even wh whatever climax it's ultimately going to, oftentimes with the setup, it'll kind of feel a little bit like mm, stale. There'll be a hit chapter. Like I love the one where Toga just showed up a couple weeks back and then there'll be another chapter where they're brushing their teeth. And yeah, so it, it's definitely... Definitely a, a hit or miss situation and last few chapters of My Hero Academia have just been build-ups, setups, nothing really exciting, nothing to write home. And then all of a sudden this week I'm like, what? Because the chapter alone, it started off very, very odd with All For One explaining his quirk of essentially being able to detect when somebody is lying. He's talking about it, giving a detail that he's had it since like pretty much the beginning of the quirk era in general. He robbed it from somebody or whatnot. And you see that he uses it on Aoyama's parents to make sure that they're not lying for this one final job that he's going to have Aoyama do essentially to get to the heroes and all that jazz. And that was one thing that even at the end of the chapter, I'm kind of curious what happened, why it was that they were able to pull the wool over his eyes considering that's a damn quirk. So I'm guessing somebody used a quirk to essentially undo the quirk that he has on them maybe. Maybe that's how it happened. Like an Aizawa-esque power of having Aizawa stare at them and maybe it'll break the quirk that way so they were able to lie or whatnot. But that was something that I left this chapter definitely wondering like how they did it. Ultimately, I ain't gonna lie. I was mixed while reading this chapter as well in terms of like there was times where I thought legitimately this was a dream sequence like i legitimately thought for a second like maybe this none of this is actually happening deku is sleeping right now or some shit like that because it just all the aoyama scenes i will say in the last couple months with the big reveal of who he is and everything have just felt really strange i don't know maybe it's just me but ultimately every time there's an aoyama like redemption scene or whatnot i i've oftentimes think like is this supposed to be like maybe a, a symbolic or something like i get it ultimately he messed up and all that jazz but like even when this scene was going on right now where he was telling Deku that he got off he got acquitted thanks to his parents lawyer and I'm just there like I'm, I'm experiencing a my hero fever dream right now like what the hell is going on here what's happening so definitely left it a little bit strange this was a strange feeling chapter on top of all of that then Aoyama goes on to tell Deku again in this private section that he brought him over to it's kind of like wow yo how the hell y'all did this considering the fact that again all for one's quirk is that he could tell when somebody's lying so what is going on here that ultimately he's able to tell this whole big thing of like yo dog this is all for one's plans considering everything is down the japanese yen is down banks are going bankrupt the economy is screwed the world is going to look for somebody to you know lead them out of this chaos and again i'm like so this whole entire time all for one ain't gonna know that that's all a lie again the parents at that what what what, what is going on here fam because again obviously i'm still when i'm reading this chapter i'm thinking like okay this is either a dream sequence or what the hell is going on because it just seems like holy shit aoyama's giving the big plan so this is where we're going with it now in the translation that i read of the chapter one of the things was that aoyama's family was referring to all for one as uncle now that could have been just the translation itself or could it be that the reason they're able to lie is because their family maybe family is the only ones that could lie and all for one never caught that because aside from his brother that didn't lie he's never been around family and used that quirk so maybe that's the reason why that happened and they were able to get those lies off or again that could just be a translation error and then when i Aoyama said sorry I just had to make sure my mom and dad were good I was enraged for a second like it no bullshit Horikoshi actually threw me off and caught me off guard with this one and I legitimately didn't realize until the last second oh this is the the 
Oh, Aoyama essentially did a double agent type of thing. Like, I guess the biggest thing is there needs to be a very good explanation as to how they were able to lie to All for One, considering he starts off the freaking chapter saying, hey, I, this is a part of me. It's been with me since the beginning of the Quirk era. Like, they can't lie to me. So how did they lie to him? But then the biggest thing that I started this video off, um, I don't want to say grievance, but definitely something that irked my nerves a bit because I felt like, Okay, so now we're just being thrusted into this because one of the murmurings around the My Hero Academia community for a little bit now has been that My Hero feels like it's rushing. Like a lot of people now that they have this timeline in their head that Horikoshi said by the end of 2022, he's he's trying to, you know, be done with this and whatnot. So you got that in their minds. And then on top of that, a chapter like this, I can understand why people are starting to feel that way. I can get why people are feeling like, Oh, Horikoshi, he's rushing now to the conclusion. Because when I was reading this and I saw All for One is like, yo, no worries. You, you tricked me, blasted me with your with your gut and shit. All good. And we just see all of the villains showing up, Shigaraki and them. That feels very quick. But I'm like, all right, you know, well, they, they showed up. It's just Deku there. And then the other page made it even more that, oh, so the war is beginning right now. Because then all of the heroes show up and they're like, yo, it's time to put an end to this once and for all. And I'm just there like, hmm. So all of the villains are here. All of the heroes are here right in front of each other. Oh, oh, the, the final war, it begins now. Like right now. Oh shit. <laughs> like legitimately, it just felt very, very sudden. And I don't know. I guess I want to ask you guys' opinion on that. Your input. Do you feel like that last scene just kind of felt rushed in terms of the war starting right now? Like I totally get it. And I think that this is where people get it misconstrued. Like for example, I haven't really been talking about My Hero this year thus far. I've talked about it I think twice. Maybe more. I'm not sure. But in 2022. Because it's just been a lot of setup chapters. And I haven't had much to say honestly. So I don't want to make a video where I'm just like, yeah, they did this. They did that so i kind of wait for these type of videos but you know you go from that and then all of a sudden it's like wham the war is here and it felt like a fever dream for a moment it's like i don't know do you think Horikoshi is rushing things he's just trying to get this done by his said date um and you think this is going to be a wrap again I, I can't even believe i'm saying this right now oh the war really really has began now we got the villains we got the heroes they're right in front of each other there's no you know this attack happened all the way over here and this like wow also i ain't gonna lie i can't wait to see some of these heroes get a salty run back with a battle a fight because yo a lot of the heroes got done really dirty in this whole situation Let's see them, uh, you know, th their run back, their comeback. And I think Endeavor especially got a few things to do because Katz was putting them down. This is going to be crazy. The war is here. Final war. And your overall thoughts and expectations for the future of the My Hero Academia manga with chapter 344 and beyond. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. It's kind of crazy. It feels like it got really rushed. But that's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'm from the world. And as always, people, have an awesome day. And remember the golden rule. Anime and manga. For life, bye. Have an awesome day. Peace in and uh. Yeah, Horikoshi, looks like you want to end your manga sooner than later, huh? <laughs> Yo, by the way, people, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. Let's <laughs>